Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Unity Tutorial Part 2. I thought I would show you how my maze, my personal maze is coming. See, I added this here, and this actually took like 10 minutes to actually do all this. Uh, but today we're going to focus on doing blocks like that, and uh, 3D text like that, so how that says start. So, now let's open up our maze tutorial, which is right here. Now here we go. This is all we got done. You guys remember? All right. So now, the first thing you should do is obviously get a uh, 3D text, so that the player knows where to start and where to end. So you go up here, game object, create other, and you see 3D text. Now 3D text is all the way down here. Let's bring it up. Come on, text. Alright. Now let's make it bigger. There we go. That didn't do anything cool at all, actually. No. Make it bigger! God dang it. There we go. Okay. Uh, so, now you bring it here let's fix this up a bit now since I messed up there we go now I probably want to turn it around there where'd my mouse go there it is there you go and now let's drag it over here now you obviously want to scroll in and make sure that the text is firmly on the terrain and see it's under terrain now it's above. So it's bring this up. Alright, now on the right here, you see text mesh. Now text, let's make that start. Alright, now let's drag that here. This is where I'm going to start the game. Alright, so we'll leave that right there. Now let's uh, import the blocks for the maze so game object create other create other cube there we go the cube is once again small but oh my god where to go there it is all you really need for this is one cube and you can just keep duplicating which we'll get to now this cube is a little big so let's make it smaller by clicking that and pushing in there we go now once again you wanna right click and oh by the way when you right click and drag your mouse that sort of spins it around scroll in you wanna make sure that it is on the ground it looks like it's on the ground my phone vibrating Yep, it is on the ground. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, okay. So, let's go out here. Let's drag over here. There's our cube. Now, it's like overlapping the start. So, it's pulled over a little. And you guys want to make it a little smaller. There, that's good. Now, you want it to uh, to make a wall, obviously, so you're going to, once you click that uh, box thing, you click e either the red or blue, doesn't really matter, and you click to drag, and that extends it, and there's our first wall right there. So you can always click that. Right here under the hierarchy, you can right click, duplicate, drag the blue thing, and booyah duplicated that's our first wall right there uh... so we just sort of keep doing this we could duplicate extend it out duplicate extend it out like that now uh... where's our main camera there it is uh, oh another cool thing you go here to search 
you type say cube you see it'll show you where your cube is you could type main camera there's our main camera you see so alright now this is obviously what we see here but there's one little problem as you can see uh, in our camera preview here everything is all black and not green grassy or anything all you really see is the and I just realized that it's a little high off the ground so we should fix that but uh, all you see is the gray and the start so to do that to make it light game object create other you want a uh, I think it was point light no it's not point light <laughs> edit undo game object create other directional light which is right here you see boom so you just sort of mess around with this try to get some light here boom you see just sort of mess around with that it's kinda like that's the sun now when you drag your main camera it's all lit alright see how bright it is and everything alright now let's continue with the blocks once again right click duplicate booyah then right click duplicate and booyah alright now uh... this is a maze so obviously you want a few dead ends or whatever uh... but first let's work on twists and turns and tomorrow we'll focus on uh things like dead ends so uh, what to do here is you duplicate one of these it doesn't really matter duplicate you drag it and you sort of turn it around like that that looks about right take it that then you duplicate again let's duplicate this one extend that out now you should probably uh, get a Y axis here by clicking this Y view you can scroll in and you see it is uneven so now to fix that simply click hit that and pull that looks about right so let's drag it and drag it like that. Now we could duplicate that. Alright, and we bring it here to sort of make a curve like that. Now, so far, this is what our game looks like. Uh, I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to get going. Uh, thank you guys for watching this Unity tutorial. Uh, tomorrow we're going to focus on characters and things like that. Uh, so, if you want to ask me anything, leave it in the comments. If you're having any problems, leave it in the comments. Or video response. I prefer video responses so that I could get a better look at what the problem is. So, uh, thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys later